guys. That game company. That's us. Guys. No, we're that one video gamer. Are you sure? Yeah, we're not we're, we're not a game company yet. Guys, we discovered something the other day. Which what? is that Gerard had never played Journey before. No. Which is fucking so fucking perfect. I know nothing about this game. I'm so excited for you to play through this. It's not going to be take us very long to do it. It's not a very long game, but I'm not going to help you very much. I don't think you'll need my help. Okay. This is Journey. You got trivia for us at least? Yep. One of the tr most one of the truly most beautiful video games that I've ever played. A game like if that question that we if somebody asked me the other day on Maker Bros about what m movie I like you absolutely have to play. If it was about games, this would be on my list. It's not my favorite game. It's not like the best game of all time. I think it's just like a good ambassador for video games in general to like everyone to be like, oh, this is like what a cool video game can be. So I'm excited. I'm excited for you to play this. Uh, this game came out five years ago, over five years ago now on PS3. Um, it's a, uh, it is an online game all the time, kind of like Dark Souls in that you can see other people who are also on your journey with you. Um, but the only way that you can communicate in this game is with a chime that you can do. It's the only thing you can do, and everybody's is a little different. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, I have to do motion controls? No, you do not. Um, and also, this game was the first video game to ever win a Grammy. Austin Wintry, the composer of this game, won a Grammy for oh, this game. Oh, Austin Wintry, I know him. Yeah, I was able to see him. Uh, I was able to see him uh, conduct some of the music from Journey when he came. He showed up as a guest to uh, Video Games Live. Yeah, I um, I follow him on Twitter. His work on Abzu is incredible. Yeah, yeah, Abzu is kind of like a little bit of a, like a spiritual successor to this game. Pretty cool. But uh, this was so that game company made a contract with Sony to make three games, uh -huh. and they made Flow, they made Flower, and they made Journey, and so this was like their like sort of like culmination piece for that partnership. And it is a well crafted fucking game. Let me tell you what. What? Yeah, Wallace is very very aggressively licking Gerard's hand right now. He won't stop. Stop, Wallace. Oh, I just. Fine. All right, so all you need to know is that you're journeying across the desert towards that giant light. Well, I'm going fast as fuck. Yeah, you're sliding down that mountain. But I love this game because it barely tells you any story. You just kind of, like, pick it up. It's just a perfect... This is a really just, like, a perfect little experience that... Ugh, everybody should play this. It was supposed to be done in a year. It took over three years. What? Yeah. They uh, had trouble, like, sort of, like, focusing the game, which I could see. Uh, I could see it being a tough game to make because it's so counter to the way that people make games in a lot of ways. But, man, what they ended up with is so, so wonderful. The reason it took so long was because it was so stressful making it that they, like, reduced overtime so they could, like, sleep and stuff. And so it just took longer to finish. So those little tickets, or whatever they are, attach to you and make your little scarf longer. Whoa! Oh, it's a one-time use thing. It's not. Yeah. Like, yeah, those like are it's like a meter. So basically, those things like charge your. Those things like charge your thing. So anywhere that you see, it's, it's showing that anywhere that you see those, that I can jump. That you can like interact with it. Yeah, but it's, that's not going to come back. I mean, not that specific one, no. But like stuff like it, like right here, like here's some ones right now. The point of this game is to make you feel small. Uh, to give you awe about your surroundings, so make sure you look around a lot and like just kind of soak the game in. Um, and they wanted to make a game similar to what Kojima has said about uh, his game Death Stranding, that 
he wanted to make a game that was outside of the like defeat kill win mentality that a lot of games have. Um, so that's pretty cool. I hope that's the case with Death Stranding, cause uh, that'd be sick. He was talking about how people always use sticks in games. Sticks being like anything that's like an aggressive action, like a gun or like punching something or like hitting stuff. Sticks. And he wants to make a game about ropes that tie things together. That's what that's what Kojima said. Something along those lines. This game was also designed like a Japanese garden uh, to like remove anything that just didn't fit. Like just like this game should be cohesive 100 percent. And I think that it achieves that. Um, and it's and it explicitly follows the monomyth, the Joseph Campbell monomyth, which we actually talked about a little bit in our uh, Destiny episode of Defend It. That's huge, considering what storytelling is in the median, like the fact that it's like, yeah, the Joseph Campbell technique is what we followed to make this thing. Yeah. And it's, it, uh, there's not really like that much of a story to the game altogether. It's much more about like what's going on here, trying to figure out what's happening and like figure out what your pilgrimage is all about. But like, you know, I don't know. There's stuff to do, stuff to explore. It's fun. Okay. Tight. You guys can't see this, but I'm playing this with one hand because Wallace will refuses to let me use my right hand. Yeah, it's funny. So Geno uh, Genova Chen uh, is one of the main guys who worked on this game. And he said that during playtesting, of the 25 people who playtested the game, three of them cried when they beat it. How many? Of the 25 playtesters play that they used, three of them cried when they beat the game. Three is not a very... Wallace, stop it, dude. So... He, he's like, he bit me. Yeah, he's gross. Uh, Stop it. Ugh. You, you can... Uh, you can... Uh, I think there's a thing down there to your right that you can go grab. But there's not really, like... I know this is, like, counterintuitive for, for somebody like you who's, like, the completionist. But, like... I don't think there's really any, like... There, there are rewards for exploring... I don't know if it's the game's intention for you to have to pick up all of them. Kind of like, think about if like every item in the game was like a heart piece in Zelda. So it looks like the little things you pick up like expand your move more and more. Like, it's like a timer, basically. If you want to think about it that way. Like, now that you, the more that you grab, if you do your little like thing and get all of them attached to you and then you jump, then you will be able to uh, like... F Travel a great distance. Yeah. But there is stuff around if you are willing to look for it. I mean, I'm down. I just don't know how much we want to spend, you know? It's up to you. Like, the game is not long. So even if you spend quite a bit of time being thorough, I don't I don't think we're going to, like, I don't think this is going to drag on. That's why I like this game so much. It's because it's just so good at doing itself. He also said that the multiplayer component exists in this game to, like, facilitate cooperation without forcing you to do it. And, I mean, we'll see if you run into anybody. It'd be cool if you did. What is that? Those lights? You see that? Maybe you can circle, boy? No? Huh. It's definitely patterns. It's definitely something, huh? Yeah. Oh! Oh, uh, this is to... Okay, I understand. I got three power-ups so far. Oh, it's like a progress the, tracker? Yeah, that's how I know how many are still left. Okay. Hey, look, there's some guys in there. Yeah, I can't can't help them out. Can't break them free. What is it? What does it want you to do? Hmm. Is 
This is so fascinating. Right? Like, there's no pressure. Yeah, it's it's cool. Like, you know you're never going to, like, be... I don't know. It, 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 does, it doesn't get, like... No, it never, like, doesn't get, like, t tough, but it's... I don't know. This game's very peaceful to me. Yeah, I don't know where to go. You check those things out, those structures. They might have some stuff on them or in them or around them. Or you can just move forward. Well, I know that's where I have to go, but... Yeah. What the... Maybe you can fly up there with the the tassels or whatever. Oh, hmm. you can just walk up. Yeah, I'll take the long ass way. I always thought the sand looked so cool in this game too. Yeah, it's very peaceful. Look at that. Mm. I'm not really, to be honest, I'm not really seeing all that much that is like standing out to me telling you to grab it. So I don't know if there is anything. I'm not an expert on this game by any means. I just really like it. And then you pray. And you pray and you pray and you pray. Yeah, but you do get a little bit of plot, so you can kind of like see... It would be cool to play as that character in PlayStation All-Stars. The journey guy? Yeah. Yeah. It's like you use your cape to like beat the shit out of Kratos. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true to the spirit of journey. <laughs> he reveals that he has like two big hammers <laughs> underneath the cloak. So it's like birds that got the energy that came and went on the plants and then the people in white with the hearts. They turned into people and harvested and then they created... Oh, you think it's like an origin myth? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. They created a tree of life? I played this game at a party one time with someone and we were really... I think I told this story before on here, but we were really excited for her to play it because she's not really a gamer and... We like, she was like, fine, I'll play it. And we were all expecting her to have a great time, and she like went through some secret hole and like beat the game in like 10 minutes. And we were like, she beat the game in 10 minutes? It was like something like that. I don't, I don't remember exactly how she did it, but she ended up like finishing the game very quickly. Yeesh. Did she like it? Um, I, she was just like, I don't understand what I just played by, and we were all just like frustrated. Oh, that's a bummer. But I think I it was just because she was like, kind of like trolling the game as she was playing it. And she's like, look what I can do. Yeah. All right, so we got some visual, like, information here. Obviously, you need to go that way. But there's a sandbox here for you to fuck around in. This was the place where I first found- Oh my god. This was the place where I first found somebody else in the game. So maybe maybe we'll find somebody, but I don't know how many people are playing this nowadays. Yeah, on the PS4, probably not many. But man, does it look good. It looks way better than it did on PS3 even, and it that was a beautiful game already. What? Where is- what is happening? Yeah, you did that. You you did it. And now, oh, there's more. What the? F Whoa! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Gotta go over here. We chilling out up in this. This game is gonna vibe me out. I wish we could finish every episode of every like session of recording Beard Bros with an ep with an episode of this. <laughs> would have really liked it during. I want to be the guy. Yeah, that would have been great. We just have it on a TV next to it, so we can just like start playing Journey whenever we want, if we need. Boop. 
I did it. I did it. But see, now I can see, like, see that shiny white thing over there. Yeah, I see it over, over there, there, too. So many collectibles. Whoa. 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 So that's the second platform we just built. Yes, sir. So it's not really an order. It's just, like, the next one's created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just all about just, like, fucking around in this little zone here for a little bit. Man, this game is tight. Love the way you fly around. It's like the perfect amount of floaty. I want to get the collectible so I can just become the Wicked Witch of the West. Uh, you should get them. I mean, why not? We're here. Is there a way I can turn the motion off in this controller? Because it is almost, just making almost, me sick. Almost certainly. Maybe not, though. I don't know. Ooh. Maybe it's like Splatoon, where eventually it's like the way you want to do it. Did I get it? I guess I did, huh? Yeah, your scarf is longer. Yo, that's so cool. It's like, where was the other one, Alex? It was like over here. It's like a literal meter that's on you. I think it's like around the corner more, like the way you were going, like behind you. Like it's that way, I think. Like to the right more. I want to say it's to the left though. There's one right in front There's of me. There's one over Ooh. there. Yeah. Oh, I can Damn look it. to your right right now. I think it's like up over there somewhere. No, I remember seeing. Well, there's one there, the one over there. Oh, I thought it was the other way. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Dude, this is like. This is great. This is so... I'm just in it. I'm, I'm just in it. I always get so excited whenever we start a new game. This is very fascinating. I'm like... Don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but it's fun. Yeah, I always spend like two episodes of every new game that we play being like, Oh! Oh! Wow! There it is. Yeah, to your right. Hard right. There it is. Well, there's one right in front of me, yeah, so I'm yeah, gonna yeah, go get yeah. that one. I'm just glad that it exists. I'm gonna see if I can turn the control... Camera default? Inverted Y, inverted I and X, X. Guess not. Alright, well. Should be mindful of how I hold my controller, then. Damn, look at the sand. Oh my god. So high. I know it's wind, but it feels like its own... Feels like there's something under it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Its own being. It's like a Molduga. From uh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Yeah. We're scarfing. We're scarfing those ribbons down. Scarfing them. Scarfing them down. Scarfing down the scarfs. We're scarfing them right down. We're eating scarfs in this episode. Bonus episode is us just trying our best to eat a full scarf. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I will veto that, my friend. I'm good on it. I don't need it. There's another... Those little mini ribbons are sticking out. Where? It's like all of them. All these ribbons. This one right there. Those ones are big. That's a similar symbol to the ones from that meter or whatever, right? Yeah. Okay, and then this, what is this going to do? Oh, it just gives you, like, a road to get over there if you need? That's tight. One down. Two down. Love it. Okay. What is this doing here now? Probably gonna give you another bridge. Another bridge? What is that thing? That's the real question. What is the thing that you're standing on? I have no idea. This yeah. is a lot like, uh... 
Shadow Last the Guardian, where it's just like a lot of... Yeah, like, what is this? Ooh. The road's beat. We fixed the road. You're a ribbon man now, dog. All right, next time on Beer Bros, we're going up that ribbon bridge. Well, let's get some more, uh, like, look, there's there's one right over there. All right, I'll get, I'll get, I'll yeah. get one more of these. Might as well, we're right there. Yeah. Video games, Dad. Video games, Dad. Yo! We fly, boys. Is there more? I There's know. another... Is that a wing? Is that a saw? Blade? What is it? There's probably more. Yeah. Alright, cool. Next time on Beard Bros. Should I keep exploring? This gonna, is tight. I'm yeah, having a good time. I'm gonna continue on our journey. Super cathartic. Peach. Peach. Oh shit, it's the goddamn Beard Bros Game Boys. We don't give a fuck. We invented Mario. Oh shit, it's the goddamn Beard Bros Game Boys. We don't give a fuck. Pull up on you like later, man. I'm greater than those haters, man. Like peace, peace. Later, man. I'm greater than those haters, man. Like peace.